all about getting out and learning what the outdoors is. Good evening everyone and welcome back to the shooting channel with me Alex Sayer. Last week Basque were allowed to be interested parties at the Welsh Court's Wild Justice Judicial Review after Mr Justice Griffiths had previously refused such an application saying it was neither necessary nor desirable. This decision has now been overturned and Basque will be an interested party at the Wild Justice hearing in Wales. Looking forward to that. Now, you remember the campaign that they did for the Yorkshire Post for the beginning of the grass season? Well, they're doing another one. For the Edinburgh Evening News, the Shropshire Star and even Sunderland and Sheffield publications. Bass Deputy Di Director of Communications Gary Doolan, who's previously appeared on this show, says he wants to reach those who rarely get access to such information, admitting it's often difficult to get good news stories into the papers, so Basque has taken matters into their own hands with these campaigns. And Basque are fighting back against restrictions for self-catering cottages in Scotland, where many field sporters go to enjoy the moorlands and of course the local pubs and restaurants. Rather than following the rule of six, no more than one household is allowed to holiday. Basque identified this last week, saying while other accommodation businesses remain exempt from this rule, self-catering businesses appear to have been singled out with no real explanation. The cancellation of just one booking in Invernessshire has led to losses of over £16,000 to the rural economy when you take into consideration the bakers, the chefs, the pubs, the cleaners and the grounds. Staying with Scotland, muir burning has been allowed to continue after some uncertainty. Controlled burning rakes up larger patches and thus makes wildfires easier to contain. This technique has been used for over 5,000 years and helps to protect the vast carbon stores in the ground. And a chance to win a day's shooting for eight guns out on a beautiful Donside estate. Tickets are £150 each and the draw closes Friday the 9th of October. This Friday. A 200 per day, the dinner, drinks and breakfast for eight guns at the picturesque Castle Forbes overlooking the River Don. Proceeds to the Game and Wildlife Conservation Trust. And there's been some new research into the benefits of driven game shooting. The study started in 2017 and focuses on the social impacts. Findings show participants in driven game shooting have reduced loneliness, a greater sense of purpose and maintain exercise all year round. This, combined with time spent in nature, gives a rural identity which has a positive impact on mental health and well-being. Around one and a half million people in the UK participate in driven game shooting. And there's another GWCT draw. This one's only £40. And the shoot day will be taken during September 2021 by mutual agreement. Grouse shooting up in Perthshire. One night, eight guns at this Creef Hydro Hotel. If you or anyone you know has ever won any of these competitions, please do contact me, alex at theshootingchannel.co.uk. And whilst you're on the computer, you might want to take a look at this. A gun auction with some rare treats such as this lever action flatside Winchester and this little percussion cult here, look. As always, I'll put links into the descriptions for you. Moving on to competitions, let's start with this before the CPSO results. Congratulations to Chris Childerhouse and Chris Goodman. And finally, here's the results for the English Open Olympic Trap. Well done to Lee Betts for taking that. Now the National Intercounties DTL. Some great scores there. And the shooting scene is certainly thriving. I'll be back next week with some more dates for your diaries. Don't forget the Schools Challenge is back at the Oxford Gun Company a week on Saturday. That's all from me. Thank you for watching the Shooting Channel. I'm Alex Sayer. Please share to your friends and let have a look at what other films we've done. And it's all there to try and encourage you to get into shooting this great sport.